Mr. Shaw is playing Churchill's father, as I understand it, in um, a, a Randolph Churchill. Yes. Well, Winston's it's, father. In yes. A, they, 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 they take the film, uh, um, the, the three boys play, it's called The Young Winston Churchill, yeah. and they end him at uh, 24. I think the actual end of the picture is uh, when he makes his, what we call, maiden speech, no joke intended, in the House of Commons. It's called a maiden speech, our yeah. parliament. Uh, but, uh, and then there's another scene where I come back to him um, after I'm dead, because Churchill says in his uh, autobiography that he dreamed constantly that his father was still alive. So it's very valid. Thanks, but uh, Lord Randolph Churchill, um, younger than I am now, died of syphilis. Mm -hmm. Hence the uh, head had to be shaved, and he went absolutely mad. And people in England certainly don't know. I don't know what they know in the United States. They know it here because that book Jenny uh, yes. about his, Churchill's mother appeared and, and revealed the... Well, Churchill's I think it was mother was an American, yeah. Jenny Jerome, daughter yeah. of an American millionaire. But the syphilis was mentioned in that, and I, I was told that this created such a shock in England that I don't even think they discussed it. I don't even know if it was published in England. Yes, it was, but it was. even in the book, it's sort of glossed over. I mean, the, mm. the true story is uh, so horrific, so frightening. I mean, the man went mad, and uh, Churchill's father... Uh, to make it quite clear for Americans, was the leader of the House of Commons and the Chancellor of the Exchequer. I don't know what your terms would be, but that's just as high as you can be without being Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was the most brilliant uh, politician of the day. And he just went mad, and he uh, made all sorts of stupid decisions, and finally, uh, the poor wife had to take him on a long trip, and he went right around the world. He came to the United States, he went to Canada, and he died. Uh, at the end of it, he went to India and Singapore. The poor man went mad in... In, in uh, public. Did, yes, yeah. in, in public. In, and the, the Churchill family, being so powerful, like the Kennedys or somebody like that, managed to keep it absolutely secret at the time. It's the most horrific story because, of course, it must have affected Churchill's own career and own mm -hmm. attitude. He must have, uh, A, wondered about himself, when his father got it, when did he tell the mother, and so on and so forth. What are the theories of how he, how he did get it? Well, there are many theories. I have uh, one which is not in the... F the film is very good in that way. It, it's not sort of nasty or sensational mm -hmm. about it. Um, there is one medical theory that if you get syphilis, it can lie dormant in your own body, that your wife doesn't get it, and that your children don't get it. I don't believe that. And then they said, this is one theory, 10 or 15 years later, it just goes into the brain. I mean, the man was dead by the age of 46, something like that. However, I have been told by a friend of the family is in fact a cousin that in fact what happened they think is that he had a mistress in Paris after Winston Churchill and his brother Jack was born and um, shared that mistress with his own brother who was the Duke of Marlborough if this makes sense the Duke of Marlborough was the elder brother Lord Randolph was the second they both had the same mistress they both used to get over to Paris on the, the boat train as it would be in those days share the same mistress both caught it from her and both died of it that is one version there are other versions there are many other versions there are several possibilities there one of them the old theory I'm glad they didn't bring in the old theory about I went into the wrong John or things like that. You know. Well, now you know. That's false theory. That's now not true. they say about um, all that, I mean, syphilis you can cure with penicillin and all that, but mm. now in England, I mean, in the Times, they say that this new strain of gonorrhea, I don't know why I've got onto this, because I wanted to talk about the play I was going to do on Broadway. <laughs> so, called Old Times, so that's relevant. <laughs> old Times. Uh, so, uh, uh, called Old Times. High Old Times. Uh, yeah, but... Um, they say that uh, in England, uh, the, the most common disease at the moment, after flu and the common cold, is gonorrhea. And, and now the virus has got so strong, they can't cure it there. I, I mean, there are certain doctors whom I know, because I met them because of this film, who say that we're on the verge of a major epidemic. Anyway, I'm just uh, saying that that's, well, that's so. terrific news, certainly for British. <laughs> It's sure pretty, pretty worrying offices. for a man who likes women, is all I have to say. <laughs> pretty worrying. But, uh, well, men too. 
Is it possible that one of we that, know where. Is it possible that the Duke of Marlborough had it, gave it to the mistress, and and Lord Randolph? Who got knows? It from who his infected own brother? In who mother, mistress, brother? To I don't really know. We yeah. will never know. But all the, to uh, to be serious, it's very yeah. tragic that Winston Churchill's father, who was very brilliant, died mad because they couldn't cure him in those days. What was the treatment in those days? It was mercury. Oh, yes, awful and very things. painful, terribly yeah. painful. Yeah. Anyway, that's the well, part that's I enacted at that point. Yeah. <laughs> what other light-hearted subject can we... Uh, <laughs> can we tell, tell, tell why you had trouble getting here and why you've only... Do you mean you have not lost consciousness in five well, days? Well, I've written a play about revolution and violence and murder that is going to open in London the day before I open in Harold Pinter's uh, play, Old Times, on Broadway with Rosemary Harris and my wife, Mary Ewer. So, on November the 15th, somebody will telephone me from London and tell me how my play went, and with that information, I will go on, yeah. on Broadway, in old times. Now, if the notices oh. are appalling, I'm gonna go on there tough. Yeah. If they're bad, I'm gonna go on uh, tougher. Mm -hmm. If they're very good, I suppose I'll just go on drunk and get through the whole evening one way or I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a bit of Randolph Churchill's uh, treatment. Uh, I don't know. It's a, anyway, it's that's terrible, what's been uh, happening. Terrible timing, I must say. It's marvelous. Harold Pinter's probably doing his play in London. He's mm -hmm. doing Harold Pinter's play here. It's a, they're quite a, I mean, I did The Odd Couple, and Harold Pinter I never saw he you said in to it me, in he London, never, Jack. ever, he came back. First Victor Spinner, he said, he never stays for a full play. He never yeah. stays to see a full play. Yeah. And he never comes back, ever. So he was with his wife, Vivian Merchant, who was a brilliant actress. Yeah. And they came back after the show, and they stayed. And he said, this is what theater is. Dong talked to me about Virginia Woolf. This is theater. I didn't know my wife could laugh. And she said, well, I didn't know you could laugh, Harold. <laughs> He said, well, it was so funny, and they got into a fight about who, who could laugh and who couldn't laugh, <laughs> and they were marvelous people. They loved the theater so there. I tell you, that's my country. Mm. Well, you know, when he directed his wife, when Harold Pinter directed his wife in one of his own plays, you know, they didn't speak <laughs> for the run. That's true. For the whole eight weeks, they didn't speak. Breakfasted in silence. That's right, yeah. and like everywhere yeah. else, too. Yeah.